It's just going to arrive soon, so a big round of applause for Pritam. Thank you, thank you Pritam. Lovely performance by Rakesh, Pooja, uh, Kish, Krish and uh, Pito and Kiran and lovely, lovely. Thank you so much for this warm uh, welcome and all of you out here who come to listen in to my uh, author's journey and what I can share about my book. I'm very excited. Uh, thank you so much for organizing this and uh, making it a part of uh, your program. Thank you so much guys. <laughs> The, the book, it's a pre-launch book in the sense that the actual book is due for opening in October and uh, 23rd of October. Right now it's a pre-launch. You can still pre-order it if you go to this website called 3 and you can grab a free ebook on Pursuit of One Thing right now and you can grab that. and. We'll also intimate you about the actual book when it's launched. So it, you may forget after a few days. So we'll give a reminder and then you can buy the ebook, buy the paperback or buy uh, the hardbound at that point. Yeah. So you can at least keep yourself as a reminder. You can go to that and click on that and put your name there and we'll send you those reminders. So about the book itself, uh, it's called Three Culprits and Three Culprits being lazy, fear and doubt and what I mean by lazy, fear and doubt is how these three characters, I would find them at every turn in my life from teenagers to now. Lazy, I called it lazy instead of laziness like a character and fear and doubt, these are the three voices that come up whether it is in relationships, whether it is a career to make uh, money, you know or uh, your health, you might want to, for example, for health, you might uh, make some plans that you want to wake up and uh, you want to uh, start your exercise routine at some time, you know, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Then the lazy culprit starts to talk, you know, it starts telling, you know what, forget it, yeah. you had a tough day yesterday and uh, you can do it tomorrow, it's not going anywhere or you have something important coming up, prioritize this, that. Who is this? The real person is you the person who made that statement but your own body is not listening to it. Okay? So this book talks about becoming mindful about the three culprits, becoming oh such a thing exists and you become more mindful through stories. So I've shared about a few stories there, real life stories of people of course fictionalized a little bit uh, but real uh, challenges that they faced and how they overcame, became mindful about it and the stories are there to inspire and the second thing what I talk about there is how to create a shift in mindset. Okay, now you became mindful of the three culprits. How do you now shift your mindset from overcoming them? And then the third part of the book is the nuts and bolts, the tactics. Okay, what should I do? Okay, I got this understanding. Now, how do I bring it into my daily practice? That's where a program of mine called the Will Bootcamp, a coaching program where I bring in the nuts and bolts. How do you do it in your everyday life? So we have customized programs and all that. So the three culprits are basically these three. These are primal. They're not bad. They're not like they're bad. They have their values because lazy is somebody who helps us because if you want to conserve, tomorrow you've got to raise something important. You don't want to burn up. So lazy actually helps us a little bit. Okay? Fear. You don't want to go eat the next plant or the next flower and get poisoned or get an allergy. It helps you. Same for doubt. So you can take a cautious, a little bit careful. But if they take over our lives, then you start seeing that the very thing that was supposed to help us has created a block. Yeah? So I'm going to share a story. How many of you want a story now? Hello, hello. 